Andrew McCaw, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to be joined by Cal Yafai. Cal, you've just witnessed your brother Gamal. He's back after 13 months out the ring. A solid performance, a knockdown and a stoppage win in the fourth. How proud are you of your, of your brother? Yeah, I'm just happy to see him back and uh, get a good win, good finish. And um, he can move on to bigger and better things. So, yeah, happy for him. Good stuff. And obviously, I mean, great performance there with the, the big left hook to finish there. What a shot that was. Yeah, sweet on the bottom. Um, yeah, he's got he's got good power. Everyone knows that, and he's just got. A, it's good for him to get some rust off um, and get that finish. And he'll be yeah, I'm sure it'll give him some um, some confidence. Yeah. Well, talking about having some time out the ring, we spoke a little bit of camera. That you've had a, quite two years out the ring, or maybe over two years now. It is, uh, and people might be wondering what's happened to Cal Yufai. Can you just shed any light on what's going on with you, with yourself? Yeah, just basically working on coming back, um, hopefully in August, and I'll be back and um, yeah, back to um, showcase my talent and and you know, hopefully on the on the second run to another world title. You were a super flyweight world champion. I'm guessing you're going to move up to bantamweight and maybe become a two weight, two time world champion. Is that sort of the dream and the goal right now? Yes, for sure, for sure. I'll come back at bantamweight and um, and then take it from there. You won't see me at super fly again. That's for sure. Was that the was that hard to make super flyweight? I mean, cause looking at you right now, you've got broad shoulders and that super flyweight. Normally, them guys are tiny, tiny, but you're not. You're tiny, but you're not tiny, tiny. If that's, uh, you know what I mean. But was that was it hard for you to make that super flyweight uh, uh, weight? Yeah, very, 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 very difficult. Um, and obviously, as as it went on, um, it got harder and harder. The thing is, I was doing super flyweight even as an amateur, you know, since um, since two thousand eight. So you know, doing that for twelve years is a long, long time. Um, and then having seven world title fights, you know, at that same weight, um, and waiting for the big one, trying to get that big fight, um, it just got harder and harder. But um, yeah. In the end, it was just too, too, too difficult, and um, and I paid the price. But I lost to. Um, I learned a lot from um, fighting one of the best. Exactly, chocolate, Tito. I was at that fight in Texas, man. There's no shame in losing the chocolate Tito, man. He's still doing it right now. You see him against uh, Julio says I mean, it's he is an absolute. Probably going to go down as one, probably one of the greats, uh, the lightweights anyway, definitely. But uh, just your thoughts on sort of like the, the bantamweight division as well right now because. You're stepping into a division as a former world champion. You're gonna, people are gonna be wanting to fight you, and you have got that name as well as a former world champion. But you're stepping into a division that isn't easy. When you look at like Donair, Anui, Paul Butler, I mean Lee McGregor's highly ranked as well. Good fighters in, here in the UK, so it's not an easy division for you to become that two weight, two world champ, uh, wait, uh, that two weight, two time world champion, is it? No, no, no. But um, I think I'll be better at that weight. Um, I love a lot of my natural attribute, attributes. Um, I'll be able to use a bit of my strength and power because I was so drained at super flyweight that it's okay being big at super flyweight and being big at the weight but if you haven't got you know if you've only got five or six rounds in you or, and if your power's not there and if your strength's not there then I'm basically just trying to get by on my ability but um, I'll have all them back and then get into, get into some big fights um, it's a stacked division which is great because there's no, no good going into a dead division um, and yeah I'm excited for it. I've had I've had a lot, I've had time to you know recoup. I had a year out of basically just relaxing, enjoying my life um, outside of boxing. But it's not like I've been sat for another year on my ass doing nothing. You know I've, I've been in camp away from home for a whole year and um, yeah working on get, improving, getting better. And I'm sure I'll show that when I'm back. It's good. Uh, when it comes, it will be good to see you back. But. When you see your, your younger brother Galal, seeing what he's done and that gold medal, and obviously Gamal coming back as well, does that give you itchy knuckles to come back and hit somebody in the face with gloves on? Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Um, I always have itchy knuckles, but you know I'm also smart. I know what I want out of boxing. Um, I know there's nothing more than fighting. That's what I want. But everything's got to be right as well for me to do that. So um, just working on them things behind closed doors, and I'll be back. Yeah, well, listen, like I said to you, it'll be good to see you back, and when that comes. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to it. So, Cal, go and enjoy. Well, I'm not going to say celebrations because there's no celebrations tonight. So, enjoy. I just want to go out and enjoy uh, watching Joe Cordino. You know? yep. um, Joe's a good friend of ours and, um, yeah, it'd be great to see him win that world title at home. In- I echo that as well. Cal, enjoy the rest of your night, mate, and I'll see you soon, brother. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act.
Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.